Hey Virgos, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So I'm getting here that there's a karmic relationship that you let go that is coming back around, okay? You have a twin flame soulmate type of energy coming in. This could be two different people. I see here one that's going to make you very, very happy. There's gonna be some type of stable connection that you've been looking for. I'm seeing love here showing up. I see un unconditional love, okay? Unconditional love for the one that didn't see a love matter happening for them. This is gonna happen after an ending that takes place. A new beginning comes in. Yeah. It's like an ending needed to happen before a new beginning starts with a soulmate. Okay? I don't see you focusing on engagement right now, but you are welcoming someone into your life. You are going to be meeting them in a timely manner. I'm hearing something about divine timing. Some of you may be running away from a potential situation because you're still stuck on being in this codependency with this past person. Yeah, I'm hearing that song by Tony Braxton, Unbreak My Heart. Even though you don't wanna be with this person and you don't see a future with them, you don't feel like you can entertain anyone on a serious note, okay? Wow, so with divine timing, your heart chakra starts to open up. There's no rush. So we have emotional loss. So you're starting to make great strides with getting out of being so emotional. There's a change or there will be a change in your, the way that you, uh, the way that you feel your emotions. We have disruption. Someone's trying to disrupt this happy energy that you've been able to embrace. Yeah, but you're not going to allow this person to, be, to have you confused. You're going to speak your mind. I think you're telling this person that they have to move on because you've done the same. You're on to new beginnings here. I see that prosperity begins with you because of your power. Okay? Because of the truth about your transformation. Okay. I feel like whatever this disruption is, it's a test to see if you'll fold. Okay. We have balance in reverse, wisdom. Something about change, 555. Five. So someone is unbalanced without you. So now they're trying to find out some type of information so they're not so confused on where you stand here. Yeah, because someone feels you separating from them. What else for Virgo? I see recognition and reward. So you're going to be given a gift. What I got in my energy also in the pre-read is a medallion. I see medallion. I did my research. This is an oval shaped necklace. Sorry about my voice. It's, a, it's an oval shaped necklace that someone will be gifting you or there's going to be 
a necklace for um it's kind of like a trophy as a reminder of of how far you've come that is so weird it's weird but it's good because it's confirmation I feel like you're starting to give up all the feelings that you've felt for this past person and um, I think the reason for this is because there was some type of deception and envy lover boyfriend in reverse though I don't know if I want to do reversals so there's an ex lover or best boyfriend that you're falling out of love with some of you may be bailing someone out of jail or someone's bailing you out of jail here we have loner sticking to yourself someone may want you to <laughs> What I'm hearing is whoever this is, this ex-lover or boyfriend, if this is your situation, this person wants you to uh, believe that they're still in love with you and they're going to use that so that they can get out of their little traffic jam that they're in when it comes to being locked up. I see here that now there's an ending, you're sticking to yourself. We have double standard. Some of you may be conflicted between two people. Whether this is a, a, a fake twin flame or a soulmate. I see you guys pulling back your energy. And I think that that's what's best for you because here comes your reward. Someone here is sexually fluid. Someone could have been put in jail for some type of armed robbery. Yeah, someone's making excuses here. Okay, so something has happened less than a year. Number 28. I think that it took someone a year to uh, come into completion with a situation, a relationship. I'm getting here because you've moved forward and you remain unbothered it keeps someone off balance someone here may have got hitched married secret relationship or getting out of one number 17 this could be a fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could have ended a cycle with a fire sign, but um, even though someone here is in this lovey-dovey energy with PDA, you've gotten a wake-up call, you're tired of going through issues um, or struggles with this person because it took you off of your path of what you needed to manifest, okay? energy is the ant and it says work achievement and success okay for some of you you could be in a same-sex relationship we have skulls so hidden secrets can harm you and this could be in the month of November 
Let's go ahead and see why this is here. What are these hidden secrets about? We have the Five of Cups. Okay, so this could be about you dealing with feelings or emotions um, moving forward from something. I'm getting here. There is about to be a decision made or justice with your ancestors in regards to your life and uh, happiness. Someone wants to come back to um, take on an adventurous approach towards you. But in regards to the secret, someone may be revealing why they left. Something happened way too much. And someone was tired of being strong all the time. Someone thought that the reason why things ended between you two, whatever the skull energy is, is because they heard you either got around or that you were like known as a sex symbol. So that puts some imagery up in their head. I'm getting here that there was a younger male that you were communicating with or that you kind of rekindled with. All right. Okay, so we have dagger, worries, fear, and tense situations. We have bolt coming out so money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall so it seems like all your worries are about stability right now but I see that the overall energy is that you're going to receive some type of inherent inheritance winning or some type of money that's coming towards you okay this will be the successful outcome to your problems in the month of December. I'm gonna tap into the reading for Virgo, Divine Masculine Feminine. What is it that we need to know? What's in Virgo's energy. Okay, so we have the magician. So definitely some manifestation here. You're manifesting a lot, Virgo. I am seeing that there was a missed opportunity and you're kind of defensive on how to move forward because you're, you're afraid that you may be left out in the cold and not given a opportunity or you may miss it. But here comes the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, after the rain, there's a rainbow. I'm hearing that uh, song lyric by Little Kim, Whoa, if you have to step on a few necks to break them, or to let a, you know, to let a person know that you're not about, you know, the foolery, you will. I'm getting that some of you are very high strung at this time. Yeah, the song is called Woe by Little Kim. We have the Page of Wands. There is some type of um, bad news. There could be a younger energy that's very jealous. There could be some gossip around this person.
We have this Eight of Cups, the world, and the Seven of Pentacles. So this is water, and uh, this takes on water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with Seven of Pentacles. So someone fears that if they don't take an opportunity to do something that you'll leave and that will be the end, you'll let go. And that's what makes them defensive to try to bring peace to a situation. What's this page of wands? We have the Four of Swords, so air energy. Someone feels like it's in their best interest to tell you how they feel, but they need to stop to think about it. Someone needs to stop to think about this here. Someone could be um, really sick. Yeah, someone could be go going through something. I'm hearing someone needs uh, to see you. You're all someone to think about, or vice versa. You may be in the, this position. What else for Virgo? What's the current energy right now? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. Someone's manifesting you back. Someone's tired of making excuses. Someone is coming to some type of clarity or truth about how they feel, but they feel like you're on another energy, this little Kim Wo energy. Like you have an energy that lives inside of you. And I think that this makes someone really, um, what's the right word to use this makes someone really um feel this place okay someone feels like you're you're not going to be phased by whatever it is that you're trying they're trying to do or that they're trying to accomplish yeah i feel like whatever this is that this person's coming back to offer you they feel like you're not going to be interested in it you're just going to shrug them off and move forward yeah, I'm hearing somebody lost it, lost it all. I heard that song by, I um, can't remember her name. I'm hearing that song also, I hear, heard we could have had it all. And I also heard say something, I'm giving up on you. Yeah, we have three of pentacles. Someone feels like you're not gonna participate in what it is that they're trying to build back. Yeah, there's a lot of ego and pride in the situation. Someone has too much ego and pride to reveal something to you. Someone is stronger than they think and they're gonna use uh, this emotional fulfillment that they feel to um, bring it in or bring it on home. I'm hearing it's chess, not checkers. Someone here is watching you, okay? Or paying very close attention to you. This could be social media, this could be in person. Yeah, someone wants to be with you. I see the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. There could be uh, someone that's a relationship material, boyfriend, girlfriend material. And there's also someone that um, wants to have a family dynamic with you. You actually have three suitors. You have a Knight of Wands, a Ten of Cups, and you have an Ace of Cups. Okay, so two water signs and one fire sign. Whoever this is, this person is um, very much into you. They have this passionate connection, sexual connection with you. Uh, you turn them on. Uh, they, they like being around you. It's very easy to be around you here. I see a lot of achievement that's going to happen, a breakthrough. Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles, though. Six of Cups in reverse. And we have 
the nine of swords. So three, six, nine. So there's a three year or three month gap. Some of you have been with someone for over three years or about three years or something has happened for three years. But I'm seeing here, um, there's not a lot of uh, give and take between uh, two people. There are, there are two, two, two to three people that uh, work together that really don't get along or that allowed you to leave a situation. Someone's afraid to tell you that they love you because they fear that it's already over, so what's the point? But someone believes that the connection could be healed. This is what keeps this person going, is knowing that there is a possibility of healing and making it, weathering through the storm. Yeah, someone's realizing that they can't let you go, that you are their person, but there is no common ground, all right? I do see forward movement happening in a situation. Virgo Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have acts of service as your love language. So someone is a doer. Someone wants to surprise you with doing something for you. Someone may want to take you out. Yeah, we have open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. Falling in love, sudden feelings that this is the one. So yeah, someone's starting to realize that you either light up their life or vice versa. Yeah, we have unexpected connection, opposites attract. Yeah, this person's gonna reach out. Expect a call or text from your person of interest. real feelings, soulmate. So with real feelings, it says you share true romantic feelings worth exploring and this is all happening in divine timing. Let's see what else we have. Virgo. So I'm seeing here that there's some type of girl fight that either happened or will be happening. I see that there is some type of catty behavior in business or this could be personal. You could tell by someone's body language that their home life is unstable or that they're having trouble. Someone has a hard time swallowing a pill of knowing that they're not the chosen one, okay? There could be friends that are trying to stir the pot or create some type of drama. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so we have Poker Face, Mean Mug. And we have Vacation, Take Flight. So someone's flight to go somewhere is canceled. Someone may have wanted to travel. They're acting like it's not phased by them. Someone wants to see you one last time. 
before they leave, if they do leave. Some of you may be traveling for work. So the overall energy is Neptune. So some of you are gonna be making sacrifices or there is some type of confusion that you need to clear up. Okay, the cards that fell out is in the first house. And I believe this is all about uh, masking, things being revealed, uh, doing things on hand. So immediately something's gonna happen. Some of you are going to be working on the way that you project yourself or how people perceive you. Uh, there's something that you are needing to do independently or that you will. We have service to others in the sixth house. So there is fruits of labor coming in. Whatever it is that you do for work, you're going to pro be providing a service or whatever you do for work is going to bring in a lot of money, dough, moolah. All right. Let's see what spirit wants to tell you. Okay, so the overall energy is seven deadly sins in reverse, humanity's destructive traits. So someone's turning over a new leaf. I also see dreams, believe in your dreams. Angel of miracles, open your heart and expect a miracle. Let's see what else we have for Virgo. Okay, so we have territorial. I'm not settling and we have dedication. At the bottom of the deck it says there is no coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. I believe in our love. So even though someone may be hiding their truth, they understand that uh, you are a part of their life for a reason and they need to work on being honest with you or this could be your energy here okay this person seems very territorial but at the same time they're not ready to uh, settle just yet all right let's see what's happening Okay, so there is a message coming in seven days at most, seven weeks. I see here that someone's not worrying over uh, the little things anymore. They're trying to focus on getting their money up. Some upright messages so we have mature man showing up so it seems like you're leaving behind someone that is starting to mature for some of you you guys had to make a change to bring in some type of new beginning there's something about an official person here we have high honor. So there is someone that is falling in love with you that holds you to high regard. They think the world of you. And I think that very soon, this person is going to voice their concerns about how it feels to not have you in their life. Someone feels like they've been cursed by not having their blessing. That's the, I think that someone's falseness allowed them to realize what they've lost. What else for Virgo? 
Yeah, this person was false. You had a false person around you, whoever this male was. I see here that you're walking in power strength. Someone could have been married. Someone could have lied about um, a marriage or who they lived with. Okay, there is judgment here. It's a low vibrational female that um, or someone that's working against you to change your, your lifestyle, okay? Someone could be jealous of your lifestyle because you've hit the jackpot. You've reached some type of sudden wealth here. Someone wants what you have. Mature woman. There is a mature woman that's in bad health. And I think that this is their karma because of what they've stole in order to become the privileged lady. And still, they're in the privileged lady is in, in reverse. We have great fortune. So you're going to be reimbursed with great fortune here because of what everyone has done to you. Someone, or not someone, there was a lot of people in your community that conspired against you, okay? Here comes this wealthy man. Maybe this is one of the suitors that we're talking about, this Cancerian. You didn't expect this person, however, there's a male that's in a relationship, a marriage. So there's two suitors here. There's a wealthy man that's coming towards you that you don't expect, and there's a main male that's already in a relationship. All right? Someone could be being put out of a home. Put out of a home into uh, jail. we have for Virgo what I'm seeing here is stay strong things could be worse you're still alive you're still breathing you still have ten toes ten fingers Make the best of what life has to offer you, is what I'm hearing, Virgo. We have gaslighting, getting your hopes up. So I'm getting here that you either dealt with someone that did this to you, they gaslighted you, made you believe that things were gonna happen or that you guys were gonna be serious, only to leave a situation, to get you caught up in a thirst trap. Whoever this was, um, you guys bonded over um, experiencing the same or similar situations, um, but someone has mother or father issues. Someone is issuing an apology to a mother or father or seeking therapy for this here. Yeah, there was a, a lot of drama in someone's life when you met them, and now they're trying to deal with their issues. What else do we have here? Someone did a lot of partying. Someone was a club rat or a night owl, okay? This is someone that, um, doesn't like being suppressed by medication, but but is someone that needs it. Okay? I'm hearing that you need to pursue your passion. Don't hold back on pursuing what you love or doing what you love. We have narcissist. So someone's married to a narcissist that either manipulates, controls, or um, preys on vulnerability. Okay? I'm seeing here that Someone's either going to tell you about this, but for right now, they're studying how you operate or how you think before they approach you. OK, 
Okay, so there is some type of scandal that someone doesn't want you to know about in regards to a mature woman, someone that's older. I'm getting someone may have the initial C or M or their name could start with either of those letters. Okay, someone may have a secret obsession with older women. Someone could be 58, between 56 and 58, or 11 years older than the person. Yeah, this is a female karmic energy. 58, 50, no, 53, yeah, between 53 and 58 is what I'm getting here. Someone feels like you don't call them anymore. Like you have the number, but you just, you aren't enabled to call them. Someone may have asked you or wanted you to a co-sign to a home, a situation, or a car, but you're not giving them your time or energy. What else for Virgo? So we have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. So some of you may be getting some spiritual downloads about how you should move forward and proceed in love here, okay? Because victory is yours now that you're in a place of strength. Show me more. Okay, so we have woman holding a heart in reverse. I'm seeing here that you're mirroring someone's energy. You're, you're having a lack of patience to get into um, the groove of balance, tranquility. We have rest and rejuvenation. Yes, yeah, someone's getting very antsy. Someone's um, willing to put their best foot forward right now to hold on to a job or financial stability here. We have door to personal healing and happiness. Someone's uh, going through the clear of changing a situation or their life altogether. We have man holding a heart. So someone's in love. There's someone that's in a marriage that's in love, okay, but not taking action. I see an ending taking place and I think that someone's holding on to uh, their coins or what they um, what their options are to have happiness yeah we have yin yang someone's bothered that you're detaching from them and now walking into a place of balance Okay, I see here that you're no longer going to go through financial constraints. You just have to be patient. There is someone here that's unhappy about something uh, closing out. Okay, because it, it seems like if someone closes out, they won't get the financial um, stability that they're looking for. And that's why they're trying to heal a connection trying to pretend that shit's all good shit's sweet but someone's looking for a way out and i think that money can solve a lot of problems in regarding to this ending here but there is just no movement right now all right so that's what i have here for your current messages virgo hopefully it resonates if it does be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one